Welcome back to Stab in the Dark, our annual double-blind board test starring one world-class mystery surfer and a quiver of unmarked high-performance shortboards built by the world's most winning, influential, and exciting shapers. Let's meet this year's test pilot, Taj Burrow. A perennial world title threat since winning Rookie of the Year in 1998, a true star of the turn-of-the-century surf video golden era, and an international surf media poster boy 20 years strong, Taj Burrow is quite simply the most famous and beloved West Australian surfer in history. I know you want me to come in and say this board's fucked! All the surfing you're going to see is going to be very relatable. Actually felt okay, but I just fucking hate it. Never gets a hold, does it? No one's telling me much. I've never seen this construction either. It's all carbon fiber. Dark arts, they reckon. Doesn't anyone know that I'm 42 and retired? And own a beer company? <laughs> These are fucking tiny. <laughs> this can be the mayhem. Bump! I can see the edit already. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Our first board facing the sword from the Spanish Basque Country, the Pucas Tasty Treat, shaped by Axel Lorenz. Graham and Jordy Smith's new international label Smith Shapes, The Matrix. Built in Costa Mesa, California by Australian shaper Blake Peters of Panda Surfboards, the Sweet Leaf. From the fabled San Clemente shaping ghetto, Timmy Patterson and the Pool Party 2. While it's never been a perfect experiment, Stab in the Dark's always had some rules. Shapers are invited to build their ultimate performance shortboard for one mystery surfer. Surfers aren't told what shapers are involved, and never know for sure what board they're riding, leaving them to feel it out without any prior bias getting in the way of the feedback that's coming from under their feet. For shapers, the surfer's identity is purposefully hidden. Shapers only know the surfer's height, weight, and preferred length of performance shortboard. Each year, there have been vastly different conspiracy theories among shapers as to who our Stab in the Dark mystery surfer is. When we took Julian Wilson here to West Oz for the first Stab in the Dark, for some reason shapers believe the mystery surfer to be Dion Atkinson. With Dane, they thought Jordy Smith or Jack Freestone. For Jordy, they thought Jay Davies. For Mick, they thought John Florence or Kolohe Andino. This year, with Dark Arts causing a lot of noise with their new carbon, and shapers getting word of who else was building boards, the theories centered around one 11-time world champ. No way, yeah right, that'd be pretty small for him too. I don't know what Kelly would weigh, but his boards aren't far off mine. 
I know he likes to ride some weird short things, so I can't imagine it being too far off. Um, yeah, well, sorry, Kelly, they're mine. <laughs> but Shaper should have known that it wasn't Kelly. No surfer's been more requested over Stab in the Dark's six-year run than Taj Burrow. From San Clemente, California's Lost Surfboards, a mayhem prototype for a new small wave shortboard. In his first stab in the dark appearance, how will man's proven designs feel with the dark arts carbon? See how these dark horses fare when paired with dark arts tech. This is the chemistry test press, shaped by Jason Bennett. For this project, Hayden was happy to let Dark Arts play with one of his as of yet unnamed prototypes for a new performance shortboard. This is the Sharp Eye Disco Inferno, shaped by Marcio Zuvi. This is Taj's first go on the Channel Islands Too Happy Groveler, shaped by Britt Merrick. From Sydney's northern beaches, this is a Chili Project Black Prototype from James Cheel. This is the Pizalian, shaped by two-time Stab in the Dark winner, John Pizel. Gary, New South Wales, the LSD Noah Dean model, shaped by Luke Short. You'll have to throw down for Stab Premium for the full four episode series, but here's a healthy offering from this year's Stab in the Dark, starring Taj Burrow.
winner! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> oh shit. What a surprise. <laughs>